Happy Sunday and welcome to a brand new episode of I Rate Your Team. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If you do go on to enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate if you could hit a like on this video. If we can get a thousand likes, that would be absolutely amazing. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. I upload these videos every Wednesday and Sunday amongst a whole host of other videos that we upload. I've had a lot of fun with the icon packs and we're looking to upload more content over the next however long, whenever Tots comes out, things like that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not. I'd really appreciate it. Starting off with Genie Meanie Mane Mo. Interesting. Uh, he says, hey, Haber, love the vids. Uh, have not many coins, but can save up quickly. Also, all, uh, all are untradeable other than Delict and the Goalie. Thanks. Hey, no worries, man. Let's check it out. And thank you for the kind words. So this is what you're starting, and this is what you are playing in-game. It's a good setup, actually. Um, I haven't tried that Aaron Ramsey card. I'm not entirely sure about Baggio as a left mid. I think that you could probably do a bit better than, than playing him as a left mid. I'm just thinking what you could do here. Um, totally understand why you've got Baggio there. I mean, hmm... The tough one. I would argue that playing uh, Nedved off Kem at striker uh, and then having him play left mid in game would probably be better. Um, what you got in terms of on the bench as well. Not a whole lot. One thing I think you could do is go with Correa as your right mid. Um, he's, the SBC is about 200k and you can make coins back. Um, it you know it never expires either, so it's pretty uh, it's pretty easy to go and do at any point you want. And I think obviously, like I said, you will get make coins back. It's a good card, got good stats to play right mid, uh, and then you can play Nedved off Kem at striker, or you could play ne Neymar off Kem at striker and ne ne uh, Nedved at left mid, and then the only player off Kem in this entire setup would be uh, Neymar at striker. Um, and I think that could be a decent way for you to uh, to get full cam on the setup and actually have uh, a really nice team in the making because I just don't think Badjo would be a great left mid, but Nedved on the other hand I think would be, and then Badjo could be a great either striker or centre mid super sub depending on how the game is going for you. So I think that could be a decent uh, shout. The next one coming from, Rod coming from Rodriguez. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, and he said, Hi, Haber. Everyone is untradeable in this team, including the bench. I've got around 200,000 coins, and the first is how I start. The second is how I play in game. 15 tokens left from swaps. Thanks. Hey, no worries, man. Thank you for the kind words. Um, I'm guessing that uh, this layman, sorry, is from... Uh, is it from a Prime Icon pack? Is that Prime Layman? Let me have a quick look. Uh, yes, that is Prime Layman. Ouch. So I'm guessing you got this from a Prime Icon pack. If so, I am sorry to hear that. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm, okay, let me actually see what you do in game. Play Ramos at CDM. I don't think that's a... I, I, I don't know. I just don't think that's great. I think you'd be way better off playing Ramos as a right back and then getting a uh, baby Makalele and playing him CDM. I really think he'd play better at CDM than uh, Ramos. And the reason why I think that is, don't get me wrong, Ramos is a good card. Uh, and he probably would play pretty decent at CDM. Though, like, you know, probably like I uh, hold my hands up and admit that he probably will play pretty well at CDM. The only thing I think about Ramos is I think that he lacks a little bit of of what you needed at CDM. For example, um, agility and balance. His agility is great. His balance isn't fantastic. Yeah, it can be up with a chem style. Um, I don't know. Like he probably would play really well as a CDM. I just don't think that I would personally. Uh, I understand why you're playing him there, though. Hmm. You know what? I take it back. Uh, I already know I'm probably going to get a stick in the comments for it anyway. Um, yeah, play Ram as a CDM. Uh, to be honest with this team, I don't really see a massive improvement you can make with 200k. You need icons to improve this team. This team is is uh, really, really good. And you are just, like, you know, eventually getting an icon or, or a better version of St. Maximin. Maybe you get the, the, the brand new foot birthday version of him. Later on down the line, I'm not saying getting a 1.4 million card now, but, uh, you know, later on down the line, I think you could get uh, a better version of Zed Max Amin. Um, same with Carver, how you can probably get someone better at some point later down the line if Carver Hall gets a better card um, or if we get a decent right mid that can play CDM. That also wouldn't be a bad shout and getting them either. Uh, but yeah, I think icons are pretty much your next step here. Um, next thing we're coming from Frankie. I've got 50,000 coins I can save up. I do. Uh, I can do Icon Max 15 Icon Swaps. I play this formation in game. Check it out. Mm. How does this play in game? That's interesting. The way I look at it is, uh, you. I mean, your midfield looks really solid. Don't know about Harry Kane up top. I think you can improve him. Maybe go with a Bamiyang up top. Um, but the rest of the team is solid. It's interesting how you play this in game. Um, 
I mean, yeah, it's very interesting. I see you've got Shane Long on the bench, and you've got you've got uh, you've got Zaha on the bench as well. Maybe one of those two can play the striker over Kane. I just personally don't think Kane is a great option. Um, but the rest of the team is solid, to be fair. I would say next point of upgrade would probably be your left back to maybe future stars Lodi. Uh, and then maybe upgrading your icons. For example, Pep Guardiola could be upgraded to a better icon there. Maybe an icon swap should get yourself a, I don't know, like a moments Gattuso if you didn't do the prime pack. Um, or if you've already done the prime pack, you wait for the next set of icon swaps to come out and do moments Gattuso then. Uh, but the rest of the team is solid, to be fair. Uh, next one coming from uh, Tro Troperek. Who said, first one is my team and second is how I play in game. Third and fourth are my future teams. I've got Baresi from the pack and Varane and Lamar are untradeable. I've got 600k looking for improvements. Keep the good work. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. What is wrong with these photos? I already tell this is going to be... Yeah, I, I genuinely can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tropic, mate. I do apologize. But Twitter, blame Twitter for this one because that is... That is... Not, I, I can't even see it. I literally can't even see it. Um, all right. Next one coming from Luke says, uh, Hi, hey, but the second is in game. 110k for upgrades. Untradeable Zarka Tuso, Courtois, Noya, and SBC and season objective cards. I uh, love the vid to keep, uh, stay safe. I appreciate it, man. You too. And everyone else watching, make sure you guys stay safe in these uh, in these times. So, oh, okay. A little bit of uh, copper color there. I like it. Very interesting. Hmm. What could you do here? Huh. I'm looking if there's a way for you to get full cam, and I don't think there is. Now, you said you had you have 110,000 coins for upgrades. <laughs> I would say, because Gattuso is... I don't know how many Gattuso, how many tokens Gattuso is. Gattuso is seven tokens, which allows you uh, 17 more to use if you're going to get all the tokens. I would say, get yourself uh, Prime Moments Burkamp from Icon Swaps to replace Griezmann. Uh, you get full cam on him, and it's a really good upgrade in my opinion. Um, and he'll play really well as a central cam for you. I would maybe, uh, I wouldn't change the right side to be fair. I think the right side is pretty good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue it. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice setup. I'd say, yeah, get yourself moments, uh, Burkamp from Icon Swaps. Next team coming from Kieran, who says tradables are Sancho, Schultz and Fred. Have around 100k for upgrades. Uh, gonna have the storyline Fred very soon. Love the vids, keep the good work. Hey, thanks, man. Hmm, interesting. So, I understand, obviously, getting storyline Fred. Hmm. I don't know how you're playing games. You didn't attach a second photo, but I'm thinking how difficult it would be to try and get that new Eggstein card in. Uh, the new foot birthday one, which is pretty cheap. I'm wondering if there's a way you can maybe pull some strings to get him in. Maybe if you maybe if you swapped out Sancho for him and then... Uh, hmm. Interesting. Um, maybe you could go Bellarabi right wing. The Bellarabi got on the bench. Get Bellarabi right wing, uh, and then Eggstein as your right centre mid. Uh, now I know obviously that will disrupt your team a little bit, and it won't allow you to play your Sancho, uh, sorry, your Sane and Kovacic, but it allows you to try out some new fun cards, in my opinion. Uh, so that could be a a decent opportunity to get some uh, to get a new fun foot birthday Eggstein with five star skills on the team. Apart from that, the team is solid, though. The team is really, really nice. Uh, the next team coming from Aaron. All tradables beside the back three. Uh, packed VVD the other day and had to make a, a new team. Anyway, got 100k, 4-2-3-1 in game. I feel that, dude. If you pack VVD, you got to try and get him in a team. So, I like this team, but I don't like Endon Bele. I understand why you've got him, but I think you swap Endon Bele and, and Suzuko around and you save up for, uh, for Kante, I think. Um, and then eventually you just put Kante as your right CDM. But I appreciate the rest of the team. It's a very, very solid team. Uh, I like how you've managed to get Ben Yedder and, and Mbappe in there as well, uh, as well as ASM and uh, and Heung-Min Son. It's a really, really nice team. Yeah, I just say get like work towards getting Kante and uh, and put Sissoko as your left CDM. And then obviously, eventually get Foot Birthday Sissoko as well if you can. Um, next one coming from Joshua Hutton, who says, first is how I start and the second pick is in game. I've got two hundred forty thousand coins for upgrades. All tradables are Cancelo, Ake, and Hudson Adoy. Yeah, again, end on ballet, man. Uh, if you can, how many coins do you say you had? You have 240k. Replace end on ballet with Kante, 100%. Kante is really, really good this year. Um, would I change anything else? I like how you've got, uh, I like I like your, um, your Seamus Coleman over here as well. Up the Seamus. Uh, yeah, no, I would just say get Kante, to be honest. I wouldn't change anything else. I think the rest of the team is... I would play Ake over on the left as well with Shah on the right. Um, 
I think. Pretty sure Ake's left footed and Shah's right footed. Um, is Ake left footed? Yeah, Ake's left footed with a three star weak foot and Shah's, I know Shah's right footed. Um, if he even shows up, where is he? Shah. I forgot the H. Uh, Shah is, uh, yeah, he's right footed and he has a four star weak foot. So I just swap those around. The left footed on the left is always better because I find a lot in this game you're doing more uh, left, left footed passes with a left sided player. So I would say uh, definitely do that. And then check Coleman and Cancelo's weak foots. Uh, if Cancelo's got a better weak foot than Coleman, obviously do the same and swap Coleman to left back and Cancelo to right back. Uh, no, the other way around. Uh, but this team is sick though. I like the use of colour and I like the team in general. I like the back line. I think it's it's definitely different. I haven't seen a lot of teams similar to this. Uh, you don't see a lot of people using Tammy. You don't see a lot of people using that Seamus Coleman. Nor do you see a lot of people really using that back line in general, to be honest. So I think it's definitely cool and different. Next one coming from Leon, who says, This is my squad. I play a 4 triple 2 game with Rashford uh, and James at striker. I have 50k to buy things on, and I have no idea what to buy. All of these cards are tradable for, uh, except for James. Love the Vizky. Oh, by the way, I've just remembered. Um, I'm sorry. It just crossed my mind. What team was it? What team was it? What team was it? What team was it? Uh, this team. This team right here. It just crossed my mind. Something you could do with this team is play Sizoko on the left side. Uh, get yourself... Uh, the best version of Trent Alexander-Arnold you can afford for right back. And then get yourself the new Bakayoko for right CDM. Uh, that could work really well. Sorry, I never usually do that. I never usually go find other teams, but I just remembered about Bakayoko. The new Bakayoko is actually an incredible CDM. So what I would say is get yourself the new Bakayoko for right CDM. Uh, get yourself the best version of Trent you can buy for right back to get the link with uh, Virgil van Dijk. Uh, and there you go. You've got a brand new foot birthday and that's really, really good. I do apologize. Uh, moving back onto Leon's team. He says, no idea what to buy. All these cards are tradable except for James. Little bits keep it up. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it, dude. What to buy, what to buy. With 50k, can you afford Raphael Varane? I'm pretty sure you can these days. I'm pretty sure he's not that expensive anymore. Still 94k. Wow, well, he's actually held up his price. Um, interesting. You've definitely got the right meta players. I would say that for sure. You've got the right meta players. I think that upgrading Nacho Fernandez should be your next goal. So when you can afford Rafael Varane, upgrade to Rafael Varane. But the rest of the team is, is works well meta-wise, I think. Um, you know, it's looking good in terms of conforming to the meta. So I do appreciate that. I see you got Thorgan Hazard on the bench. You might be able to, it might be better using that informed Thorgan Hazard left mid and then using Schultz at left back possibly. But apart from that, the rest of the team is solid, to be honest. Uh, nice team coming from uh, Leon, but not the same Leon. It's a different Leon. Uh, he says, hi, it's Haber. Uh, I have 100k and can save. Getting King Kenny in swaps. Feel that. Only tradables are Werner and Alaba. Second pick is how I play and the last one is what I want to build. Love your vids. Keep up the great work. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. So this is what you play in game. Admirable. Good team. Uh, this is what you're thinking of building. Okay. Um, interesting. I would say, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely a good setup in game. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a good setup in game, to be fair. I like it. I think it would work really well. Just thinking if there's any way you can get maybe a version of Hyung Min Son in the team over Sane, and then you can use you can use Sung Min Son to get the full chemistry as well to Sissoko. That might be a good option. Um, but apart from that, this this I would recommend this team. If you if you're asking me if you if you think I, I, you should build this team, I would say this is a good setup in game. Um, you've got a good back line. You've got a solid team here, and I think it's definitely a good shout. And uh, GG's on when you eventually unlock him, the King Kenny, because that is a really sick card. A really sick card. Uh, the next team coming from Alfie, he says, I've got 900k. I uh, don't know what to upgrade. Maybe moments keen for Vestrate. All icons and tradable. I play the 4 2 3 one in game. Keep it the great work. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. This right here is a perfect example. I would say, instead of getting moments keen, why don't you, why don't you try out that new um, Eggestein card? Uh, the way I see it, uh, it looks like a really good card, in my opinion. Um, here he is. He's only 86 rated, I know, so it seems like a downgrade. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Uh, his pace is decent, and with a chem style can be improved. I would personally play on this card, probably an anchor. Gives him 86 pace, 92 defending, 87 physical. Really good physical stats apart from jumping, but I don't think that's really relevant, uh, because Vestray is also very small. Um, really good defensive stats. He's got good dribbling stats as well, and you could put, you could actually focus on that as opposed to, uh, 
as opposed to getting an anchor card, he could get something else. Uh, he's got 90 short passing, 87 long passing. It's a really good card, and he's got five-star skills. I think he could work really well as your left CDM in the setup, and you get a full chemistry straight away. Um, it's just a fun card that you could maybe try out and use. Uh, it might work. You know, you might enjoy it. Um, but the rest of the team is solid, to be fair. Next one coming from Bastonians, who said, second is in-game, De Jong and Kante untradeable. Looking to get Vidal for De Jong and Mbappe for Werner. Got Pele from a mid-icon pack. Ludovic's keeper the good work. Hey, thanks, man. I got Pele three times from the mid-icon pack, dude. <sighs> Don't talk about it. You're the first person I've seen use Zambrotto at centre-back. And I've thought for so long, Zambrotto at centre-back is a really good shout. And I'm, I'm appreciative that someone's actually started using it before I did. Because I was going to try it out. Uh, this team's very good. I'm not entirely sure about De Jong at, at, at right centre-mid, though. Uh, I understand why you've got him there. Let me just double check how many coins you got. You don't say. Hmm. With icon swaps, given that you've only done the the yeah wait you know you did my icon pack you haven't even done a prime icon pack. Given that you've not done a prime icon pack and there's icon swaps, you might be able to benefit from maybe getting someone like uh, Gattuso, Hullet, Lampard. Uh, either of those would be a good shout. Um, but I would definitely say upgrade that right CM slash CDM spot, to be honest. The rest of the team is solid, though. Uh, we're going to go with these last two teams for the episode as well. We're going to go with Matthews first. His first one is starting, second is in-game. I've got 300k, and the whole team is untradeable, including the bench besides Rojas, Menya, and Nakata. Did a mid icon pack and got Vieri, uh, but can get coins easily. Well, I'm sorry that you got Vieri, man. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That is unfortunate. Uh, but you've got a really nice team here, to be fair. I like this, this left, back, left CDM setup there. That's really cool. Not entirely sure I rate... I mean, no, you play Nakata as a box-to-box, -box, actually. I rate that highly. I was going to say, I'm not entirely sure I rate Nakata as a CDM, but then I checked and he's using him as a box-to-box -box exactly where he should be played because he's actually a very good box-to-box -box this year. This is a sick team. Uh, with your remaining tokens from swaps, you might be able to get Maldini. Uh, I don't know if you just said that or not. Uh, no, you didn't. Uh, you might be able to get Maldini as your right centre back with your remaining icon swaps tokens, in my opinion, unless you're going with the prime icon pack. I'm not entirely sure. I see you got prime icon layman and you've also got moments loud drops. So I don't know what your plan is. Uh, but if you can get the tokens, I would say get yourself Maldini because um, he's a fantastic centre back this year. The rest of the team is sick, though. Rooney's a striker, and my opinion is well more suited as a uh, box to box midfielder. Um, something you could do is maybe play Crespo in the Catters role. And then in game, play Nakata. Uh, sorry, don't uh, play Rooney's your right centre mid and Crespo's your right striker. Rooney's a fantastic centre mid, and you won't be disappointed if you try him at centre mid. He's absolutely amazing there. Um, highly recommend. So I'd give him a go if I were you. Uh, but the rest of the team is solid. I do like the rest of the team. Um, the last team coming from Tangai Tuesday, who says, I have 1.3 mil. Mane is the only tradable player, and I've just done Bergwin. He's playing instead of James. 4 4 2 in game, Mbappe and Mane at striker. Any improvements? Yeah, but I forgot about Bergwin. This team is super blurry, though, and it's really annoying me how blurry it is. Um, I wouldn't change a thing, bro. I think you already know this team is end game. This team is absolutely insane, dude. I think you realise that, and I don't think I'd change a thing. Because that team was so blow, we're going to end it on James's team here, and I'm not going to I'm not going to risk showing anyone else's team to make anyone feel bad. Uh, he says, hey, hey, but this is my team. I usually play 3-5-2, and I got 50,000 coins, but starting to work on trading. Only De Bruyne and Indeedy are tradable. What short slash long-term improvements do you recommend? Love the vids. Keep it the good work. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Okay, this is a solid team. You play either 3-5-2 or a 4-2-3-1. Understandable. I would say... Um, Short-term upgrades, maybe from Icon Swaps, if you get yourself uh, Maldini for PK, that's a really good short-term upgrade. And I think long-term, I think eventually upgrading your De Bruyne to a, a better, either a better version of De Bruyne or an Icon Cam, and then eventually upgrading Son as well, because the rest of the team around him are very, very good. You could also work on maybe, uh, you can maybe get that that new Bergwijn um, and play him off chem as a right centre mid. Uh, sorry, he's a left centre mid. Uh, and then in game, you can play him as a, as a striker, possibly, or uh, or as a cam. Uh, that could work. Um, but no, I think the rest of the team is solid, though, to be fair. And uh, I like the team a lot. Uh, and I see a lot of people are using that Dennis. Uh, you guys can't see because my face cam's blocking it, but he's got Dennis that he inform on the bench. When you guys actually use that card, and is he good? He looks really good in game. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later.